Howdy folks, welcome to Wanda East. Today, I'm taking you guys to Anggung City in Rawang, uh, or also known as Anggung City Commercial Centre. Now this place is not new, it's been around for several years now, but recently, in the past year or so, it's been revitalised, if I if we may say so. So it's pretty popular now, a lot of people, a lot of crowd, especially on the weekends, servicing the Rawang families, those who are from within the vicinity. Now this place is full of food options, lots of restaurants, bars, cafes, you name it, they probably got it. Right? And, um, and one of my favourite Yong Tao Fu uh, place in uh, Jalan Ipo, they also have a brunch here, surprisingly. Alright, so let's take you guys for a walk around this place and uh, show you guys what's available here, shall we? One thing, um, this Angun City Commercial Center is just adjacent to Yon, the very, very popular Yon Rawang. So as you can see, this is one of the parking entrances. There's another one on the right side. Uh, there's another one on the right hand side nearer to the McDonald's entrance. So here we go. As you enter, you see lots of bars and you have mix as well. There's a Yinju uh, yin Bistro, brew house. Uh, you have beer factory, Drunk Cat and Uncle Don's. And there is a food court here as well. And lots of beauty salons and academy studios language centers on the upstairs so coming here you'll be greeted with this huge angong city building right here and downstairs you will have chagi cafe very interesting bubble tea offerings and you have some restaurants and Mr. DIY is upstairs and if I'm not mistaken there's a stationery shop down there and uh, several other cafes there's a Thai Mukata there as well on the left hand side so right now this weekend they are having a promotion sportswear promotions all right so let's head on over here to the shop houses which to me is what gives this place a lot of variety. These shop houses surrounding Angkung City. So as you can see just now, we walk past Mix, Beer Factory, Brew House, Uncle Don, and this is Ongji. So you have Zing Zing Yang. I presume that's how you spell, uh, pronounce it. There's a parking right there, basement, nail spa, mm. cool. So yep, you have a food court here, great cheap alternative dining area, pet shop, optical shop. We have a grocer, small grocer, and the kindy. And as mentioned just now, this is the Thai Mukata. The bookstore as well. Hmm. So further up, you will find Misue. Among also Lu Sun Ki Dessert Shop right there. A very popular one. And Fei Fei Crab. Another. If you love crab, this is the one for you. There's a clinic, as you can see, and then a pharmacy as well. Then you have Misue, another dental clinic, and then followed by HWC Coffee, Soybean Factory, and a few other restaurants further down the road. And that is where the exit is. Also to note, 
parking here is per entry 120 very reasonable lots of parking options here one thing cool here is they have the Ipo Road Yong Tau Fu right over here it's a shoe place called Kinzen another optical shop and then you have a huge coffee shop Oh, there's another barbecue place, a Thai barbecue, which is Flames Thai Next to Dadoba bubble tea Oh no, this place is huge Yep, Kedai Kopi Anggun Another coffee shop This looks In fact bigger, it looks bigger than the one that we walked past earlier okay yep here you go Thai barbecue and steamboat security guard making his rounds nasi kukus nice here you go another Mr. Mukara and then Mikori Dessert Cafe, mm, love this one. And we have a Taiwan braised pork rice and dessert. Another new tea and coffee joint. We are hiring. It's a local joint, a restaurant. Hot Pot, Moonkey Cafe, and then we have Thai, Time Thai. Wow, there's a tongue twister right there. There are a lot of Thai options here. This is Nuna, Barbecue Steamboat and Grill, Pin Tea, and the rest are businesses, including MK Curtain right at the corner. Oh, this is interesting. Influen you influencer agency. Hmm, am I an influencer? Nah. I think influencer you need to have at least a hundred thousand fans or subscribers uh, to be considered one, I believe. Alright, and then we have one last Chinese um, noodle shop. Oh, they sell steamed fish as well. And that's where it leads you to the end here which is where you'll find McDonald's and Uniqlo almost forgot let's take this little route here that's where you have the toilets I want to take you guys to the end You can see it's another steamboat city. Steamboat city. Yeah, so there's there's a car showroom Subaru right there, which is why I make it a skip. There are a few other businesses on the right hand side, but here you have a few more restaurants and cafes. I wanted to point out before walking to Uniqlo. So this is a steam fish joint, Tiga Tiga Lima Lapan, which is 3358 steam fish. Zas Rumah Kopi. And then we have barbecue, yeah, Korean barbecue. Dion, is it pronounced as Dion? Well, if you know better, please share with me in the comments below. And there's a restaurant, Home Sweet Home, or Sweet Home Restaurant, rather. Interesting. Backstore. Hmm. Interesting name. Sofa Library. Yep. And then we have a dry seafood store. Yeah. And also 
Chinese herbs as well, and medication. While walking to Uniqlo, one thing I do notice here is that there's no fast food joints. No, besides the McDonald's on the outside, on its own building, but inside, there are no other fast food options here. Interesting, isn't it? Well, last but not least, we have Uniqlo right in front of the main entrance before you head into Angun City car park over there. There's another car park, obviously, entrance from the back. But this is the newest addition to the block and it's only, I think, two weeks old at the time of recording. So, this is a really cool, unique little store. Yeah, on its own, actually. Yeah. So, anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Do consider giving this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.